From the very beginning, his brother was my seminary teacher in high school. But I worked with his other brother in law at Buffalo Wild Things, and one day he came up to me at work. He was like, Hey, Sabri, your husband gets home in like a year. And I was like, What are you talking about? And he's like, Did I not tell you? He's like, You're going to marry my brother in law. And I was like, Whatever. So he showed me pictures, told me that he plays the piano, he was an officer at school, like everything. He plays baseball. He gave me the whole rundown of this kid, and I was like, Okay, I'm like, Sure. So, he comes home, and I didn't hear anything, and my sister's like, so we should find Brian's brother-in-law. I'm like, I'm not gonna look up some random kid when he doesn't know who I am. I didn't know anything about Sabri until I was home for my mission, actually, so she heard a lot more about me um, than I heard about her for a while. I got home from my mission a couple months later. And like two months later, after I got home, I get a random message from Brian on Facebook. He's like, Sabri's home, send me your number. Trevor and Brian, my brother and my brother-in-law, they're like, hey Tate, you gotta date this girl. And I was like, alright, what's her name? And like, Sabri, and I was like, okay, I'll look her up on Facebook. So I send him my number, pretty sure 10 minutes later I get a text message, hey, this is Sabri, and I was like, oh wow, like, ready. And so I messaged her and just said, hi Sabri. I don't remember what I said, but I'm like, oh, I said, is this who I think it is? And I said, is who you think it is who you want it to be? And then I had to go to work meeting, so I couldn't answer back. And then she didn't respond, so I was like, oh, good, I blew it. I, I ruined it. First, second text message I sent. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so after a while, I hurry text back. I'm like, he said, he's like, oh, this is Tate, Brian's brother-in-law. And I text him back. I'm like, sorry, I was in a work meeting. Like, I didn't want him staring at me. Yeah, so uh, luckily I, I hadn't blown it. There were a lot of opportunities that uh, she could have gone away screaming. But she did it. So I asked her out, and uh, I actually I had this date idea in mind for a while. So he comes, and I open the door, and this super cute kid is standing there, and I was like, Who was it? We went and painted the sunset. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't amazing. I was going to take her to get ice cream, and she told me she had never been to Nielsen's frozen custard, so there was no question. We, we had to go there. I remember just thinking there was something interesting about her. escalated and we got to the point where you know we didn't want to be away from each other. We were sitting in my car one day and neither of us wanted to get out. We literally sat in the car for like 10 minutes like okay I gotta go. And that was the first time he told me he loved me. I had been thinking it for a little while and I got to the point where I couldn't not say it. Um, she's a very loving person and I, I try to keep up 